Hello friends, welcome to the part of the video where we are going to install Android Marshmallow on our Samsung Galaxy Grand phones and to do that we would need to install a custom recovery first in our phones and that thing we have already done in our previous videos in case you missed our video where we have installed the custom recovery in our phones you can just go to the video which I have provided the link below the video ok now moving to the next part once we have installed a custom recovery on our phone, how do we go for installing the Android Marshmallow OS? Okay, the first thing is that we do not have an official Android Marshmallow update for Samsung Galaxy Grand, so we need to depend on the our great, 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 awesome developers for these all these OSs. So here, is, here I am in the unofficial page of Cyanogen Mod 13, which is in, which is nothing but Android. Marshmallow that is Android 6 for us From here the developers page here. I have provided the link to the developer page below the video from the developer page here We have this Source for the Rome and also the Google Apps. The first thing that we need to do is open the the Rome download page and download the uh, Cyanogen Mod 13 Rome for our phones this download is around something 300 MB and I have already downloaded this package to my system and then next thing that we need to download is open gaps this is nothing but the Google Apps that comes pre-installed in our phones so we have a choice of variety of Google Apps that we can install for Samsung Galaxy Grand we need to choose the platform of ARM and currently our OS that we are trying to install is Android Marshmallow so we will choose 6.0 and let's go with the Pico package so basically these packages are like this is the most lightweight package available for us this contains just the minimum basic things to get the Android Google Play Store software running and then the nano package micro package mini package this stock version is what we get default in our phones but we'd prefer to use the Pico package here where I have already we have also downloaded this file in our system currently and then we would move further to the next step the next step that we need to do is that we need to place both of these files in the memory in our SD card of the phone so I have already done that I have placed these files in the SD card of my phone already and just let me cross check if the files are already present on my SD card or not yes the files are already present on my SD card I have already placed these files on the SD card so the next thing that we need to do is we have to boot our phone in the clockwork mods, mods recovery mode how do we do reboot the phone into the clockwork mods recovery mode first thing that we need to do is we need to turn off the phone and while we restart the phone we need to press the volume up button the home button and the power key three of them simultaneously and we need to start the phone and that would directly boot our samsung phones into the clockwork mode recovery Let's wait for the phone to phone to shut down. So once the phone is turned off, we need to press the volume up button, the home key and the power button, all three of them together. Once we see the Samsung symbol, we can just leave the power button and just keep holding the volume up and the home button and it should boot into the clockwork mode recovery on itself once the phone has booted into clockwork mode recovery we can now proceed further with our installation of Sam Ma android marshmallow on our samsung phones the first thing that we need to do is we need to wipe the catch partition just go to wipe catch partition press the power button it asks yes and no just go to yes use your volume down and volume up to navigate and press yes with your power button after wiping the catch partition just go to the wipe data and factory reset and press the power button and say yes so now we are doing the factory reset of the data <coughs> we just take some few, few minutes your factory data reset is complete and then the next thing that we need to go we need to go to the advanced and then from the advanced we need to wipe wipe the dalvik catch 
you just go to the wipe dial with catch and and press the ok button and it asks do you want to wipe the dial with catch and we say yes wipe the dial with catch yep the catch is also wiped so now what we have done here is now we can go back go back and choose the on option install zip you can see the second option that is highlight second option that is present in our phone yes the option which is highlighted now is the install zip just press the install zip with your power button and then we have an option to choose the zip file from where do you want to install the os you can choose the you can choose the second option choose zip from storage because that is where we have put our file if you have put it to put the files in your internal storage you can choose the first option install from sd card if you have put it on the external memory card just choose install from the sd card one and then the next step that we need to do is from the file browser here we need to choose the os that we have put on our phones you can just go down here I have put these three files in my marshmallow folder and I can see the clockwork mod 13 cm 13.0.1 this is the file the ROM file that we have downloaded and placed it on our phone so you can just press it and we can say yes install the file and then here it is friends the o installation of the OS has started in our phone now it will hardly take from 2 to 3 minutes for the installation to complete once the installation is complete, we can proceed with the next step of installing the Google Apps. we can now see that the installation from the SD card is complete so that so now we have completed the installation of our OS that is Android Marshmallow 6 the next thing that we need to do is we need to install the next thing that we need to do is we need to go back we just press go back and after going back we need to install install the new zip the next zip is the Google Apps that we have placed in our file, placed in our memory card. So just go to the SD card one, and again we search the file. Currently we have placed it in the Marshmallow folder. You can place it anywhere in the SD card, and you just need to choose it from your file browser. And here I choose the Open Gaps, that is the Pico file that we have downloaded and placed in our SD cards. And I just press OK. It asks, Do you want to install this Open Google Apps? I say yes, and it will take some time hardly two to three minutes for the open gaps to install as this is pico file it should not take a lot of time and once this installation is complete we are done with installing android marshmallow on our samsung galaxy grand phones yep as we can see the google apps has installed in our phone the installation from sd card is now complete the next thing that we need to do is just go back and reboot the phone so that we can start using our android marshmallow 6 sorry Android 6 that is marshmallow that we have just installed in our phones just go back and we say reboot the system now this is the first option available and when we press the reboot the system now the system starts rebooting as this is the first time the OS is installing with marshmallow 6 we'll see a lot of optimizations for all the apps that is installed in our phone yep guys the optimization of the apps is complete and it is just finishing the reboot here we go we have the installation screen here this is the first time very this is a screen that we get for the first time when we use android marshmallow we can choose the english language we can choose the preferred language press next and to just ask for the adding Wi-Fi networks we can skip this for now we can skip it anyway just finish the setup and just verify mm, default sim for data services just choose the sim card proceed further 
basically you can skip all those steps here so this yes send the data for cnhn mod allow this let it be there and start our phones here you go guys this is cnhn mod for us we have the welcome screen and there we go about phone here we can see android 6.0.1 running for us let me know in case you face any issues in this process or you are stuck somewhere do let me do write me a comment or write me an email i try to help you out guys thank you thanks for watching hey friends after doing some quick review quick work on cyanogen mod 13 that is android marshmallow i could see that there's one big flaw with the android marshmallow that we have it is that the video camera here does not work i mean we are able to snap the still pictures but we are not able to take the videos from this camera i'll just try to take a small i'll just try to take a picture here pictures are coming fine we can see the picture here but when i try to take a video the issue arises it just the phone hangs with just after one second of the recording see there the video recording just stopped and it hangs forever we are not able to save this video we are not do able to do anything so i think currently the android marshmallow is still buggy and it's still not as stable as android lollipop so in the next video we'll try to see how do we revert back to android lollipop in just few minutes if you just in case you didn't like the marshmallow os other than that there are some issues with the setting of the 3g mode like earlier in the lollipop or in the other samsung phones we had this option where we can choose the mode of the internet like whether it should be 3g or 2g or 3g only but here we do not have that option even it has given us the option of preferred networks but we are not able to use it see even if i change it to 2g it still says 3g even if i change if i try to do anything no it doesn't work so it's just stuck with the cdma or gsm preferred mode we are not able to change it to wcdma mode only so this could be a problem for the users who are living in a remote who have a little weaker 3g signals they might stuck with the 2g signals so my advice for now would be if you are better stay with the stable lollipop for currently till we get the updates on the marshmallow in the next video anyways we will be discussing about how to revert back to lollipop